Welcome back, everyone. Man, oh man, oh man, what a day already. I I got to tell you, uh, the, the bread recipe has been dominating on these live streams, of course. But for those who have been watching, we've been absolutely crushing it with the weekly options I've been releasing over at the StockMo Patreon and the Stock Squad Patreon. So I do a little bit at both, help everybody out. And of course, uh, yesterday I shared one with the family, uh, the entire family, for everybody who's wondering. I went out there and look, you can see today, massive day, right? Uh, massive day on the, the markets are all up. But I loaded up on puts yesterday. Should I be down big time today? I should be, except the put that we bought was Coinbase right there. And you can see it. Now that, like I said, the markets are way up today, but Coinbase is down. The bread recipe doesn't lie. We're going to be day trading this, of course, but I just want to, sh I know some people were wondering about this. Uh, on the minute chart, it has now reversed, so it is moving up. I took half of them and sold them and locked in some profit. I'm going to let the other half ride for a little bit because I still think we're coming down. But uh, on that, I will say this, the day chart, take a look at this thing. This is why we did it right here. Five's crossing, 13's on its way down. So I'm going to hold on to the other 50% of them. I took massive gains today on half of it, though. Uh, and I made some other moves, too. Like I said, if you guys aren't signed up over at the StockMo Patreon, sign up. Link is over there. More importantly, no Audible. What do you mean, no Audible? I got Audible. You guys can hear me, right? Everybody can hear me? Somebody said, no Audible. I, 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 think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I think everybody can hear stuff. Uh, what do we got here? Mm, no, no, no. Yeah, if you guys can hear me, just give me a... Just say something in there that we know you can hear me. Yep, we can hear. There, Kathy says, we we hear you. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Good, good, good. All right. <clears throat> I always worry because that one time I talked, you guys know how long I talked that one video. We were trading. It was like 20 minutes of me talking and the volume wasn't even on. <laughs> All right, family. Let's see what we got today. Uh, this is scary. Oh, <laughs> Wow. We're in a monster bull move, uh, and we're not in it. I didn't do any day trading today. <clears throat> it, it It's snowing where I'm at, and so I just enjoyed a cup of coffee. You guys want the truth? I, I enjoyed a cup of coffee, made a few trades on my weekly options, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to wait for the family here, uh, and we'll do this. We'll do this once we get in here. So welcome back. It's Friday. I want to say hi to everybody. Put down uh put down where you're from put down where you're from down below we'll give you some shout outs paul thank you for being a member if you're not a member all you got to do is hit the join button down below tesla cat or higher as a membership on here on youtube and you're gonna get access to my uh, you're gonna get access to the portfolios in the discord and they're all over at the discord but you get access to that uh, if you want to join the patreon as well you can do it that way as well it's a uh that's nicer because you get actual notifications when i do my buys and sells i send them over to the patreon and the discord so you get to see it that way so that link's over there i wouldn't recommend it all right now i know everybody's waiting for me to make a move and of course on this kind of chart you guys know what i like to trade i like to trade the 50 and the 50 as you can see we're going in you gotta let me get caught up here it doesn't take me long so we're looking at today and that 50 has been absolute, absolutely a support. And you can see here, we dipped down below, got back up. Okay, so we touched it here, back up. Touched it here, back up. Okay, so you can start to see what's going on here, family. Then we get the roller coaster, which <clears throat> it dips under. And the five right here and the 13 cross, which usually leads to what? A major red candle. What did not happen? This, this is a failure of the 13 cross. Oh, I actually take that back right here and it crossed on this one. So it did get the, the red candle, but it, it instantly went back up. Uh, then back up and of course, so the 50 still held, it just dipped underneath. Then it dipped underneath and now we're off and running again. So we're, in my opinion, we're gonna come down and we're gonna touch that 50 here. Uh, boy, but you know how I feel about trading on a, um, a bull run. It's tough to go into a bear position. So let's see what we can do here. Let me take a look at this overall market. Wow. That is beautiful. You guys know what this is from, right? You know it's because the government down there in D.C. finally 
uh, past that budget and everything else, whatever they were passing down there for money. So now the market's saying, okay, more money to spend and the market's going higher. I have warned you that I got to tell you, I warned everyone right here. I want to show this one more time. Uh, the European Central Bank officials are worried markets risk derailing disinflation. So they know th these markets start to run and they're pricing in all these cuts and everything. It could mess things up for them. And I still think very, very soon you're going to have the markets uh, pay the price. And I think the Fed's going to talk aggressively. I think the ECB is going to talk aggressively. So I am warning people to be careful, take profits when you can. Boy, this is interesting. I don't got nothing to jump into yet, guys. I know everybody wants me to, but I got to tell you, until I see the perfect moment, I'm just watching. We got a new member, though. Let's go. Let's go. I can see it. Uh, we got a lot of good things going on. All right. Greg Miller, man. Thanks for joining, my friend. I appreciate you. Yeah, you guys can get, like I said, join down below or join over to the Patreon. Either way, if you're a Tesla Cat member or higher, you will get access to the Discord and the portfolios. Hello, all you awesome people and Mo and fam and that cat. He's down there doing his thing. Um, they were walking on a very narrow banister above my head when I was eating breakfast today. Terrible stuff. Let's go. I agree. Uh, Rivian. 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 You guys know how much money I'm making on that. <laughs> For those in, you know what I'm talking about. Rivian, Rivian, Rivian. Now, uh, you might see people mention some of the stocks I do. Uh, I have Rivian as a short, uh, I shouldn't say short, a put option, a put option. Uh, okay. So we loaded up on this on a put option a couple days ago, and I'll let you figure out how much money we're up. That is not 16%. That's 16% down on the stock. You can imagine what options are down or up. And so I'm killing it, and it's fantastic. Uh, some of the other plays I want everybody to know, uh, like I said, this is one that I keep sharing with you every video, and now it's up 10% since we bought it a week ago. It's just like I said, everything's fire when you use the bread recipe. And you can say, well, how'd you know? Well, because right here we were bouncing, and you can see we were running nicely. We come down, we move up. That's the minute. That's not what we want. We want the day. The day will show you. Uh, here we go. And right here. You can see the bounce down off of this, and we were, and you knew we were going to go running up to a new higher high. I've seen this pattern a million times. It's exactly, look at this little cup, and boom, and up we went. And it was beautiful. And so now we're running high on the RSI. Everything's getting a little bit overbought in the short term. So after today's video, I'm going to be making tons of moves, uh, continuing to make moves with my portfolio because I think more pain's coming. And not that we're going to go down, that we are running so high in the RSI, like right here. You can see it right in here. And all of a sudden you have this little dip. Well, that dip, if you look at it, we're at 67. That dipped all the way down to 57. So why would I want to lose $10 a share and just hold through it when I could sell, take profit, buy back when it, it's low and get back in? We can use the bread recipe to know because once it... Once it drops down to the 50, we know, hey, it's probably going to get that support and we can buy it this time. The beauty of what I'm trying to teach people and my, my goal in life is to have one person say, you know what? You made a difference in my life and in a good way that I understand investing more. I understand this. You opened my eyes and it's going to change that family and everybody moving forward. So that's the goal. And I think this strategy helps people with that because one of the big things I think when you read a book is you get all the knowledge in the world. You get all the knowledge in the world. You go into a library, you can read it all. But application of that knowledge is a whole different ballgame. To get out here and see it applied is a different ballgame. So what I do with these live streams is because I'm so confident in what I do with the strategy. And it doesn't mean we're going to make money every single time, family. But I'm so confident with this strategy that I do believe in doing it in front of you, which we're getting set up to do here today. Uh, and with that being said, that's what we're doing. I'm trading in front of you. Now, this is not set up for anything great today yet because this is running like a bull. And so there you go. There you go. I'm not upset, family. Remember, I got triple leverage long. Uh, I got a couple of them. For everybody out there, 
at this point, I, I share them after the fact on the YouTube, as you guys know. And this is another one I'm in. And so for those who followed me with that, somewhere, some way, one of the places, uh, we got a little of that. And I think I bought that at one and I bought the TECL at the other. So TECL doing a little bit better, which is nice, but they're all making money. Uh, it's good. We're having a good day. I'm watching the spy to see. Look at this. Let me, what do you think's going to happen? So here's what happens. Everybody starts jumping in, right? I'm waiting for the pullback. And I think when the pullback comes, if it comes, uh, we'll have a little bit of a, a retracement down and we'll try to ride that down. Uh, when's it going to happen? I don't know. It could happen. It could be happening right now for all we know. Uh, this is tough. This is a tough trading day. I, I do want to try to make my 200 bucks on this. I don't have a position in mine yet until I see what happens. Yeah, look at this. Even when you touch the Bollinger Band here, it came back down like expected, but didn't last long. Up it went. So this trading is going to be rapid and fast. And look at this. We bounced off the 50 here. So I'm just setting up my plan. Okay. Oh, man, I'm a little under the weather today, guys. So you have to bear with me. Uh, right here. We bounced off the 50 RSI. So that's a that gives us a good sign that last time we got here, we were able to bounce off of that. Then we come down here again. Look right here. Check it out. So right here on this, these candles right here, we bounced off the RSI 50 again. So that's two times we bounced the 50. All right. So that's a pattern. Let's go down and take a look here. Now here, a little different. We got down to the 50, broke under. And two candles up we went. Okay. All right. So the 50 seems to be holding a little bit. Not great, but it, it gives us an idea of an entry point. Uh yeah. Yeah, because it gets down to that 50 RSI really opens up an opportunity because that means you had a big sell-off to push it all the way down to this. And you got two choices. If it's a reversal. If we're getting a reversal overall, we could ride those puts all the way down and make bank. And you can say, well, how big of a, well, you know, look here, that's not much, 0.11. Uh, we haven't had a big, big sell off since that run. You can see we're up like 0.76. That's huge, man. You guys should be up thousands today. Oh, man. If I was up doing this and not doing what I was you know, having my meetings and everything else today, selling stocks, I would have been day trading the crap out of this bull run. Oh, man. We'd be, this reminds me of yesterday when we, made all that money from the first trade on it was perfect uh this this one not sure yet now if you're in a bullish mood this little dip you're seeing these dips and it continues like right here a little dip up it goes little dip up it goes little dip up it goes now you had this little dip this could be the one where it goes to a new higher high uh, i wouldn't be surprised but i'm waiting on this family so uh, let's talk why we wait for a perfect entry point, because I don't want to jump in until I know I'm going to make money, or at least I, I feel like the odds are on my side. Right now, you're gambling if you just jump in on this. I think day trading is gambling alone, but if I'm going to get in on a play, I want to feel good about it. So we're looking for an extreme moment during this live stream. If we don't get it, we don't get it, and I don't trade. But if we get it down to the 50, or we break the Bollinger Band, I'm on it. If we get a reversal, with the bread recipe, I'm on it. But if it's just doing this, little ups, little downs, we're you know it's going to be a long day. And patience when you're day trading. I gave you some plays in this video to think about. These are weekly options that I do. Uh, yeah, I, I got to tell you, craziness, craziness. Not every option play is is a winner either. You know, I had a I had a loser. I had my first weekly loser today. Uh, which I could have held on and maybe took a chance, but I sold out of one that did not win. It was down 30%, uh, I think maybe even a little bit more. Uh, and of course I took a loss on it now, but it was a smaller contract compared to like my Coinbase and uh, the Rivian one, which is, I think Rivian's up over a hundred percent. So I lock in the losers, I lose 30%, but then I get the winners, which are up, you know, anywhere from 50, 100, 200%. And so, yeah, I, I have to take a little loss and I use the bread recipe, but I, I, I'm I'm learning with you guys. So as you guys and you can see, it's doing exactly what I told you, a little dip up to a new higher high, little dips. So 
Um, the reason I don't want to buy in this RSI is just floating high. Uh, I can see this coming back down just to get this down to the 50. So I'm going to wait on that. Uh, no, still have. All right. So, yeah, uh, here's the deal. Somebody said still have Neo. I do have my shares. <clears throat> I, I got them. I'm making a lot of money this year. And so at the end of this year, I'd say December, if I still have them and they're, I'm going to have them. Uh, if, if they're down in December, which they will be, uh, I will sell them at a tax loss at the end of this year. I told you I'd keep it up to 2025. That's the plan. I'm a man of my word, if anything. So I'm going to do that. But here's the deal. I've been buying put options on Lee, made a, a boatload of money. Uh, then I went to Rivian, boatload of money. So I'm going to get all that money back in my mind, shorting these with, or I should say put options. Then I shorted Xpeng up, I think, 30% on that. Uh, so I'm getting it back. But I'll hold on to that as a tax loss for the end of the year. And, and you know, if they can do what they said they were going to do and they crush it, we'll see. We'll see. Now, here you go. Like I said, this is actually good for me, the market going up. Not for my put options, though. My put options would like to see the markets collapse. But um, I, I locked in a lot of those and we took advantage of what we had. Uh, I'll continue to do that as we go forward. Look at this. This little up it goes. Yeah, this is good looking. Somebody says TMF going up. I could use that, Trapper. Trapper Buck. That's a good name right there. My grandfather's name was Buck. And we are my, and, you know, I, I know not everybody's going to like this, but we, my family are trappers. Uh, so we grew up learning that. My father taught it to us from my grandfather. And uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> a new member. There you go. Enduro, Colorado. Thank you very much, man. That looks beautiful out there. That's a good picture. That's a good picture right there. Thank you for joining us. Can you day trade Neo? I'm sure you could, John. Um, I think the weekly options are easier. I'll tell you what, we're waiting on this chart. So let me let me pull up Neo and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, here's the minute. It doesn't look easy to, to day trade that. Uh, so I would say the day, if you come in and look at the day chart, I told you 13's crossing, going to collapse. It did. Now we're low on the RSI, so it makes me feel like a little pop-up's coming. But for now, this is absolutely bearish, and I told everybody that. That's why I did the Rivian. Like Rivian, I didn't want to buy the puts on that. I should have, but Rivian gave me an easier setup because it it's a little bit. It was a little bit delayed from Neo because you can see the 13's just crossing. After the 13 cross, what do you expect? I always tell you a big red candle within one to three candles. Now this one took about two. And then we got that big red candle. So a lot of people exit. This is what I'm finding is that the algorithms and the computers and everything else out there, uh, they all kind of run in motion. They have programs from these smart MIT, Harvard guys, and they they like to set these programs up to run off the technicals that they know all the retail people run. And a lot of the big companies run. And so what they see is that, and they change a the pattern of the 13 crossing the 50 and the five crossing the 50, they a lot of them, I believe, this is my theory, that you have an execution of a trade to get out and it puts downward pressure over the next one to three minutes on day trading. Uh, and so I have seen nothing over the last two to th three months now to prove me wrong. Uh, and I consistently make money doing it without a computer. If I had a computer to do this programming for me, oh my God, it would automatically do it for us and we'd be billionaires. I, I, I truly believe if you did this right with a program and everything else, you could be a billionaire. And um, and I think that's what a lot of companies do. Uh, you can I, I heard about a lot of different companies trying to get as close as they can to the exchange to get the fastest operations with the computers. And it's crazy. You can read about it. It's interesting research now. But yeah, that's it, man. TMF. Let's pull up TMF. Somebody said TMF's running. Is it running? That's green. I don't know if it's running, but let's see what we got here. TMF. No, TMF. TMF. Right there. That's it. Ah, that's green. <laughs> I'll take it. It's not running. It's green. Man, oh, man, oh, man. All right. Yeah, I want to trade, man. I want to get in here. I want to make some money. Let's go. Uh, now I'm fired up. I'm feeling a little better now. All right. So this is the day chart on that. Yeah, that's why I, uh, That's why I was bullish. Everybody else was telling you, oh, the market's going to crash. Yeah, get out. Get out. I told you that the daily chart on this was looking fabulous, that I'm not getting out. I'm not selling. I'm not buying SQQQ. I am in FNGU. I am in TECL. These are triple leverage long 
because I told you that the daily chart looks bullish using the bread recipe. Take emotion out of your trading. Look at this, bouncing off the 50. We're continuing up. It gives us an opportunity to continue to make money. Now, the consolidation period here was about, well, that was a long time, all the way back to December right here. We broke the Bollinger Band and it kind of trades sideways here. Now, we finally got a new high here, which was big. Uh, if you look, the line in the sand for us on the daily, this is big, folks. Uh, right here, you can see it. It was just a couple of days ago. So at this point, we are if we confirm above this, I'm going to tell you something. This is just like my day trading. So you see that you and you can and anybody that watches this channel, you guys know I've shown you this a million times. Channel catfishing, I call it. Uh, we channel catfish for about a month, two months here, month and a half. And you can see we're up, down, up. Nope. A little higher and low right here. I've seen this a lot of times. Right. And I show you guys this. We'll get here and we'll say, OK, what's going on? Are we coming back down here? We did not. And so all of a sudden you got this. And look at this. If you look at this right here, we can come down and say, oh, wow, Mo. You just did these points, but look how it connected to this. Look how it connected to this. You're starting to see something here. So you got this beautiful image that you need to be able to see if you want to be a, a proper trader using technicals that you have to be able to see. I can hear a cat sneezing. Wow. Um, right here. So you can see this. You hear that? That cat, that is a, that's a man sneeze, but that's actually my big cat, my 20 something pound cat. He's like a dog. Anyway, so when you see this right here, and now you have the channel, I call this, when this comes together with this, you know, call it whatever you want to call it, but the breakout is what I wait for. So this breakout is happening right here. So now with this knowledge, I'm probably going to look into some call options uh, to set up for next week. And that's going to happen over, like I said, you can join here as a test cat member or higher down below, or you can go over to the Stockmo course, uh, over the, no, the Stockmo Patreon. Hear that? Wow, that cat, man. Bless you, cat. Bless you. Uh, but if this confirms, I expect us to go running now. That's the breakout. So the catalyst is the government getting that budget done, and that will give us enough legs to run. So they were waiting on that budget. We're going to have the numbers from December being good from businesses. And then the collapse starts probably in February sometime. So we still got two weeks of enjoying this, I think, and having this push up. And all of a sudden, I think I'm just giving you my rough timing here. When this line is broken right here, somewhere in here, a couple weeks down, it comes down and confirms below there. I think you're going to go back into the channel and eventually fail below this. And that's going to be my prognostication here on where we're going moving forward. You miss SOXL. SOXL. What's SOXL? Semiconductor. Yeah, yeah. I see it. It's doing its thing, man. Wow, what a pop. I, you, you say I missed it, but remember, I'm in TECL, which is a technology. So, and I'm not big on that. So, I'd say I'm doing pretty good. We're up a lot of money this year. All right, let's see what the spy's doing back on the minute. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it, family. So I know a lot of you come to, yeah, see, it's still not a tradable for me. This is still not tradable. We are still rolling up, which is good. If you're in it, I could have just bought and just held, but I'm waiting for this to dip down um, all the way down. Down to the 50. See, it hit right here. Here's where I probably should have bought a um a put option and tried to trade for two minutes yeah and this is it right here when we popped all the way up on the rsi that's it so that's 75 we hit up there now it's coming down you're getting that red so we'll set up we'll see do me a favor family hit the like button down below while we're waiting for this trade it could happen within a minute that we'll have this trade set so I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. And I know a lot of people, so I'm trading zero D DTE, days to expiration today. And right now, uh, I can do it right out of the money or right in the money. And I'll let you know. I'll let you know. But this is the SPY. This is what we're looking at. Um, while we're waiting, I'll share one with you. Rivian. Rivian. Down here, because I know a lot of people. Don't always believe everything I say, but here is my contract. Uh, 81 cents we got in at. It's now at $1.47. That was this week's play. And I give different plays. 
this one is now up 3,300. And remember, I sold half of them. I had 100 contracts. I actually locked, locked in half the gains already. And today it made me another $741. So that's a cool one. Yeah. So some good things there. We're doing well. We're doing well. Uh, I, you know, and I have losers. I have losers. I got out of one today uh, that was a loser. And so uh, we do get losers. And that one cost me, I think, two or three thousand. Uh, but the ones I won, the overall portfolio is way up today. Way up, way, 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 way. All the options I have, I have tons of options in there now. I'm becoming an options trader, family. Uh, I know some of you love it. All right, so we're bouncing off this 13. So there's two ways to play this. And I'm waiting for an extreme event here. Uh, we might not get it. Uh, right here, we're bouncing off that 13 right there. So you could play the 13 bounce as a bull. And uh, you're seeing every time we're getting down to 13, it's bouncing up. This one, it broke under the 13 and bounced up. So you could, this is a bullish pattern where the 13 is holding up nicely. And the 50, the 50 is the ultimate support. If you get down to the 50, that's fantastic. You can feel good about your bullish position. Um, right now, whoo, look at this run. Holy cow, what's going on, family? Wow, look at the asset. Whoa, that's a rocket ship. Wow, that's tough. Oh, how are the stocks I got here? Coinbase, okay, I'm still holding on strong there. SoFi, okay, SoFi coming. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Some of these um, x -Pong, these are the ones I got puts on. So, unfortunately, you know, they're all red. The red recipe is still working. It's just, you know, when you have that big run. Here's one I exited. I had the Walmart. For those who were watching, I got out of this. I am now officially out. It was a successful options trade. We made a lot of money on that. Uh, but the SPY is what we want to trade today. Wow. How high does it go? Does it just go straight up all day? I've seen days like that. Look, we're back up here on the RSI. Can I, you want to try to do a quick one minute trade? All right, let's see. Let's see. If I did a one minute trade on this, yeah, I'm going to try a one minute trade. So, and I'm not going to do it big. So, a one minute trade is this. It's where I buy 20 contracts and I sell them all. Uh, and I didn't do it yet. So if I see this break above the, the 75 and the RSI, I'll buy puts and I'll do a one minute trade because you're seeing these little sell offs over one to two minutes, one to three minutes, two minutes, one minute, three minutes. So this is going to be a one to two minute trade. If we break all the way up, hit this candle, I'll take that chance and I'll try to do a one minute trade down. If we get a sell off all the way down real quick. I'll probably buy the call options up or wait to see if it's a confirmation. Yeah, they're running, man. I'm not complaining. We could buy a call off of this, but you know what? I feel a little bit better about, um, well, I, I feel good about the strategy I just told you. So let's do this to see if we can make some money. It makes more sense. This is a tough day to trade. I know what you're saying. Well, Mo, it's so easy. The market's only going up. Yes, but if you get caught, on um if you got in early and you just rode this you're loving life uh but if you're getting in now this is what i call fomo and you don't you know <laughs> fomo fake out mo we don't want fake out mo we want to just wait patiently get the setup that can make money and ride it now this is just very bullish we're getting a little bit of consolidation here oh there's a new higher high so it's continuing and um We'll wait and see, man. This is craziness. So if you guys haven't joined the course, of course, of course, of course, of course, we have the code CASH, C-A-S-H, at checkout, save you ton. Lifetime access to the course. See how I'm dominating it with this strategy and learn the strategy. It's self-paced. We add content in. I actually added in the Moomoo video on how to set this up in Moomoo. I actually have the charting in here in Moomoo now. And I teach people how to set this up in Moomoo step by step, which is a little complicated. So uh, for those that wanted to know, I have this set up so you can do exactly what I do over at, um, uh, what is this place? What are, where are we at over? Trading View. And you can do this in here for free now. And Moomoo allows you to do it for free. That link's over there. I do recommend that. Uh, we're waiting on this thing. Look at this. New higher high. So that, that just gives us another opportunity to run up higher. Wow. So I'm watching this, like I said, if we bust all the way up here like this one, 
So here's my plan. See how this broke all the way up and it came all the way back down to the 13. I think that's what we're going to try to trade. And it's going to be a two minute trade. So if I see this break all the way back up, which it could do any second, it just goes boop, 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 boop. And then it breaks into this 75 or above. I think at that time, I'm going to hurry up and buy those puts. Uh, and that's the plan. Oh, what happened? I don't even got, there we go. And so I'm not buying them yet. I'm just getting it ready. One push of a button, it'll be 20. They're probably way down. Yeah, they were 50. Now they're down to 47, 48 because this keeps riding up. No one. And I'm going to tell you something. This is what's going to happen today. And quote me on this. We're good. We can, we could make a substantial amount of money on this trade. Here's the problem. And I've seen this so many times. What do you have here? A normal market, right? I would say this is a normal market right here. What happened right here? You jumps 0.64 in under two hours. That's huge. And everybody's buying calls right now. Call, 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 call. And look, we haven't even had a pullback. So when this pullback comes, it's going to be a snapback. You're going to have like a Himalaya mountain peak right here. And it's going to come down. It's going to retrace. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be right on this. I think I'm going to be right. And I'm going to show you where I think this thing goes. So, oh, wow, this is just crazy. So, do not be surprised. We're down here. We have this massive run up, right? All the way up here. So, the, the Goldilocks zone's right in here. So, if this does snap back here, it would come all the way back down to 479.80 to 479.60. And then that point, it would probably recover and we can go. That would make sense. Now, you might, you know, and that's just a theory. We'll play it how because it could just continue up. Uh, and it's going to set up for a pullback eventually. Now, remember, we're pricing in right now the government getting their the job done, getting that budget passed. We have the EMAs. This is just money being made by all of us. If you're, uh, did Mo give his coin put alert to his Patreon or the Stock Squad Patreon? Yes, I gave it to both. Uh, coin was a gift yesterday. It was so set up nicely, brought to me by a community member in here. And I went and did my research after I got off the video. It was a perfect setup. And I knew most likely this thing was going to collapse down. And it did today. And I took half of it and sold half of it. And um, yeah, we made a lot of money. And so, yeah, I did give, I give the notification out. And so, uh, yeah, I, I sent that one to both the Stock Squad and the Stock Mo Patreon. Sometimes when it's so good, I want to share it with both the family. Uh, yeah, and that's what we did. I appreciate the kind words, CJ. Really do, my friend. Uh, positivity will get you shout outs, that's for sure. Uh, coin is going back to 100 to 108. Yeah, I did. I forget if I did a week option on that. I think I did a week option on that or two week option. I'm not sure. You'd have to go over and look. Uh, I got it. I got the place posted in the in the Discord Patreon. Here we go. The snapback family. Is this it? We top out. Now, if you're going to play it, remember playing the 13 would be a call. You would buy a call option off this 13 uh, based on everything we've been seeing. If this continues, that's what you would do right here. You would have bought a call option, play the 13 up at new higher highs because you can see we've done that right here. We did it here down here and it keeps going now i don't i'm waiting for the the eventual reversal here and then i'm going to buy the puts and we'll see because i've seen this a million times that all of a sudden when you get a reversal everybody starts dumping their their they sell because they want to lock in their profit and this could be it i'm telling you we've been waiting patiently here for 33 minutes and there we go First time we dipped below the 13 in a long, long time since this. Now, we'll wait and see how this goes. Last couple of times we dipped, it did not hold. Uh-oh. Look at this, family. Is it coming? We're down there like I told you. Now, so I was going to buy off a top run, but now we, uh, now we wait. Because now we dip below. Usually what we're seeing is it comes back up. Uh, and I showed you this right here. We go below, it comes back up. So that's an option here to buy and let it continue to run. So you can get in on a day trade right here, ride it back up. Uh, that would be 
what I believe would happen. Yeah, you can see it. We dip, ride back up, dip, ride back up, dip, but didn't get down there, ride back up. Now you're dipping and it's riding back up. So the pattern, you got to recognize the pattern that you're seeing. Now, eventually that pattern will be broken. And that's why we set our stop losses. But if you continue to trade the pattern throughout the day, you should do well. You should do well. Yeah. Um, buy the micro dips today. Yep. Yep. That's the strategy. Walter, you nailed it. That is. Um, yeah. Good job. Be patient. That's my problem usually. Yeah. Chris, you got to, if you don't get the play, you don't get the play. And I, I, I know there's a lot of people waiting here for this. Like, Mo, make your move, make your move. Mm -mm. I'm not making the move until I feel comfortable. And look at this right here. Tightening up on the Bollinger Band consolidation now for a long time here since this candle what's that 136 we are now consolidating it's like a top is building on this big push up and this could be a flag pattern here you know a little you know, I'm, I'm trying to find reasons for you know everything that's happening here we're going out now and you can see this like little flag waving in the air and we could break up the new high or uh you know it could be the top of the mountain where you have this this massive run, which we have, and it comes down then, you know, it comes down like that. Uh, we're going to find out very, very quickly, though. Now we're down, we're getting down to the 50. That's what I was waiting for here. Uh, the RSI hitting the 50 would be a release of pressure where you could buy again and run, and you could play off the 50. And you can see we are on the 50 here, bounce back up, right? On the 50 here, bounce back up. So. The last two times we hit the 50, three times we dipped. Yeah, okay. So we'll keep an eye. Boy, this looks, looks like it's set to drop. Oh, wow. It's fighting. They are battling. We're not in the game, family. Not in the game yet. Just watching on the sidelines. Tulip Mania, Mo. I like that one. Tulip Mania. I'll give you a house for a tulip. I want the red tulip. I want the green tulip. That's what I want. All right, yeah uh what's it what's it say mo always giving the alert glad i'm part of the patreon russell reed you are the man uh yeah he's over there they can they can confirm they can confirm thanks Luis. uh yes yeah they, they they um they can confirm i always give my alerts man come on man I, i'm not in this alone here comes the sell-off i've been telling you is it gonna be the mountain i think so we're down um this is going to be interesting. If So you have the five crossing, which is, do I play the bread recipe and wait for confirmation? And yeah, we're getting close to a play, family. I'm feeling good about this. We'll see how this goes. Remember, this is bullish. We have now broken and confirmed below the 13. I don't think we confirmed with a red below it. We haven't. Right here we did. It came back. Okay. Well, I tell you what. I think you're seeing it. Five dipping. Do I want to take a chance? Do we come down here? Do we play the 13? Millions of questions being asked in my mind right now. The RSI did not confirm below 50. So this is still bullish, just to tell you. Until that RSI dips below that 50, this is why you put it all together. Right now, I'm getting close to a move. Ever take a drink of water with a huge ice cube goes in there? Didn't expect that. There we go. Okay, so the 50's holding. This could be a buy opportunity if you believe we're going to bounce off the 50 and run up. Or, uh, and I'm not buying puts until this would confirm. Okay, now it's getting back above there. Uh-oh, if that turns red, oof, that would have been bad. All right, so the five still underneath the 13. We're coming back up. This could be a little cut and run. I'm not sure, though. It's interesting. The minute candles are... They're speaking to us. You just got to listen to what they're saying. They are speak. Each candle is telling us a story. Uh, you're seeing patterns form. You're seeing the overall. Look at this. The overall. Look at this. Up, 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 up. Uh-oh. 
going sideways and pausing a little bit. And that'll give us an opportunity on the, this should give us an opportunity for an entry. And there's no guarantees on this. It's not a beautiful setup. But I do feel like the top. Look at this sideways still all the way to 136 to where we are right now. Uh, now, I don't need the volume on this one. Um, I, I I usually do have the volume with the RSI. I got to get that set up again. I do like to see it. The strong volume tells you it's a, a good move. And I do talk about that in my course uh, about the volume. Very, very, very. All right. No one's no. Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> we don't want burnt toast. I agree. Uh, so far, I just went green. Nice recovery. Oof. Oof for the poor options. That's why you take profit along the way. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Look at this run. So that did dip down. You can see the dip. Uh, that was a buying. We'll have to keep that in mind for the next time we rode down here. Look at this. Okay. Now, it's not up there yet. If we get up to here on the RSI, we're hitting close to that Bollinger Band for a put option. What are those put options now? 43 cents. They're down so much if we'd have bought into them. So, wow. Yeah, I never got the opportunity here. I needed to see this dip down to the down to the 50, confirm something. And then this might give us an opportunity here for the minute trade if we go all the way up through the Bollinger Band. We're just waiting for the perfect opportunity to make quick, quick bucks. Not getting it. At this time, I have to change this though. Let's edit. It's a little under what I'd want to do if it happens. So I'm still waiting. I'm, I got this set up for put options. I'm not buying them yet because I'm waiting for an explosion all the way up through, buy the options, and hopefully have it come back down just for one to two candles. So I'm going to try to do a very risky maneuver here, which is a put option on a major bear or bull move today. Uh, and that's what we're looking at. So I didn't get it yet. It did get close. Uh, new member here. Thank you. Banderson714, my friend. Thank you. Your screen is blurry. My screen is sharp. Put it on 1080p on your settings. And if you don't have good bandwidth, uh, that could be an issue as well. But my, my screen is sharp. It is looking good. Uh, yeah. So we got here. Uh, no moldy, moldy slices either. Mrs. Mel, you are correct. You are correct. Uh, hey, yeah, all right, man. You got the Neo symbol too. That's the cat in the house. All right. So we are watching this. I appreciate that. Uh, we got to see. I got to, you know, we got an undefeated streak going at almost three weeks now of not losing uh, overall. So this, I don't want to just jump in and, and have that loss. Look, this is the cup. The run up, what we want to see is push it all the way up, buy a quick, buy a quick put option and sell it within seconds on a push. Now we're getting up there. Look, the RSI is getting close. If that tips its hat all the way up into there, I'm doing it. And it'll be high risk, folks. It's not there yet. We're up there at 60, 68, which is. It's okay, but I need this to pop up to 75 on the RSI, and then I would do it. Yep, the SPY is showing strength, man. This thing, you can see it. You got a little cup, and you're continuing that path. So, well, that's a, look, how, look how aggressive this is. Like, look at this. Look how aggressive this is. Look at that line. It's just, wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so let's find another strategy. Let's say that this is the top, and it can see the tops going up, all right? See how they're all connected here? Anytime we're getting above that top, it comes back down. Let's see if this candle does too. We get above it, and then it comes back down under it. Because right now, wow, it's getting way, 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 way up there. Okay, you want to... Are we getting close to that? You know, see, now if it comes back under, that tells me this is going to hold probably. So then we can play the put off of any big jump above it back underneath it. Yeah, there it is. So we have our, we're, we're coming up with our strategy. We're coming up with our strategy. Doesn't mean it's going to work, but in the short term here, that's been holding as a resistance. And there it is. It goes above and it's coming underneath. All right. 
I think I can play that. Let's try it. Let's get a pop up above this. There's the sell-off. Oh, come on, man. Give me one chance. Get this thing all the way up there. I'm ready to pull the trigger now, family. So I feel good about this because you can see the resistance. So if this can turn green up into here, I feel like we have a chance to make a move. There it is. Pop it all the way up, and I think I can pull the trigger and feel like, all right, it's high risk, but um, you can see it's holding. There it is. Okay. Mm, yeah, push it up. Mm, there it is. Okay. So. Oh, wow. All right, this is going to be a high-risk maneuver. We're there. We're above the level. Oh, man. It's just, oh, man, this is brutal. Ah, uh, it's not my favorite kind of trade. All right. I still feel good about it. Should have should have probably pulled the trigger right there. We'd already be up. Okay. Give it another one. We'll give it another candle. Get it set up. I'm waiting for like a huge... If everybody's wondering what I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for this to pop into that overbought, and it's not quite getting there. Um, you can see we've been above that line multiple times, and every time we do, it drops. So basically, if you're like, why didn't you do that? Well, because I want this to get above this and spike this line and have that confluence and just pound it with put options for a minute, and we should be able to make money. Uh, so if you're wondering what I'm waiting for, that was it. But I would have been correct on my assumption right here to buy puts right here, and it would have came down. We would have been able to make enough money on that uh, one minute. Uh, tricky to trade these days where they're they're huge. Okay, you see that 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 little blah, 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 blah. that usually leads to some selling. Let's see if it pops all the way up. We're in. It's coming back down. What's the what's the channel on the downside, family? Let's make a channel for the downside. Let's say, hey, look, you can see this right here, right? So there's the channel. So if we bust up above, I think we come back down in. So we want to see this break above. You can see the bottom here of the near term. You can see that. Okay. So we kind of got our channel. This is going to be tough to trade. Don't want to buy in the middle here. Because uh, we keep getting higher lows here. So you don't know when the next higher low will come. I'd probably say right in here, obviously. Right in this little general direction. Interesting. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So our, how's everyone doing, my friends? Are we doing well? Hit the like button for me. Let's get this video out there. Let's help some people. Hit the like button. I got the over 500 likes right now. Uh, let's let's do that. Let's get it above. Hit the thumbs up. Watch how the number goes up instantly because we're all in this together, family. If you like these live streams, you got to help me. All I ever ask, it doesn't cost any money to be a part of this live stream, but you do have to help me out a little bit. Hit the like button and let me know which like you were in the comments. In the comments, hit the like button. Put in there, I was like 147 or 138 because I can't see how many likes are on here. And so when you guys put your numbers in there, it tells me which like you were. Uh, now, and watch how, how many people are watching this goes up after you hit the like. 13. If I only got 13 likes, I'm going to cry. That's terrible. Uh, 380, 380. A couple people saying 380, 65, 315, 401. Let's go. Yeah, hit it up. And all of a sudden, uh, it helps me. Okay. Now, as you guys are going out, I'm watching this. We are busting back above this zone. Um, and we're getting back up to that opportunity. It did exactly what I told you it would do. And so, yeah, hit that like button, put it in there. Look, we're breaking the zone again. And that's what we're waiting on. Man, this is a great day for the market. But man, we're we're at the top here. Do we buy the put options? It keeps see it keeps coming down. Whew, what are the put options at right now? 35 cents. That's terrible. They were at 50 something when we first looked. Now we didn't buy them yet, but I'm telling you, that's how quickly they're getting slaughtered. Okay. So if we're doing this, we're doing it quick. Um, we're doing it quick. I need a big candle and break this RSI up here, and then I'm I'm pulling the trigger. Uh, how many did I say I was buying? Thirty at thirty-five. Oof! I got to edit this now. The price of that keeps changing. Okay, so 
Okay, there, there's a massive candle. It's almost there on the RSI. It's looking good. That, that, I wouldn't blame people. Right there it is. Okay. Just push, push, push. Yeah, that's close. I tell you, I could do... Oh, that's that look. That's what I've been waiting for. I just wanted this to break that. It might be it though. Do we want to take the chance on this one? Yeah, I'm going to take the chance of coming down. All right, so we're going to play that coming back down quickly. If it doesn't, I'm going to take a quick loss on it because I don't want to be in it long. I definitely want to get ready to get out, find the puts. Yeah, it came down. So it went down 25 bucks on that. It has to come down. If it does not come down, we get green, green, green. We got a new support, and I got to take that loss. But I played this in here to see it come back into this channel. If we get this back into this channel, I should be able to take a quick 5%. Oh, that's what we didn't want. We don't want to see this get break up to a new higher confirmed and then take the loss oh this is so so risky so risky family oh man oh that's what i was waiting for right here on the rsi this is the candle i should have bought it on Ooh, ooh, there it is all right so we got up to that rsi i need this to dip back down into this channel and it should and there it is come back down get us in down into this channel and we'll be all right no guarantees on this one family uh, I'm just playing what we did here, what we did here, what we did here. Now, if it does not come back in, that pattern got broke on that trade, which right now the RSI is so high. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. We are up there. Oh, this is it. This is a massive loss, family. Oh. Look at the RSI broke it. This is the candle I should have waited for. That would have been an easy, an easy one. Okay, so I'm going to actually add on to this because we got up to a level that, oh, now it came back down. See, that's where I wanted to do it. Not, we're going to hold it because if I get in our dip like that, I'm buying. That is so good of a dip or so good of a push up to that RSI. I still think we're going to break back down here in that channel. So I'll hold. But I'm actually willing to buy at this point. Now, here comes the channel. Like I said, we've always come back into this channel. It did here. But now this is acting as support, which could be bad for my trade. Well, we are high on the RSI. Like this needs to come down, relieve some of that pressure, and then have the next leg up. So let's see. Let's see. We're in the game. Uh, and, and this is tough because you're going up against the champion, which is the, the bull market. The bull run is happening and you're going against the bull. And so we're playing this channel, but it's not, I'm not feeling good because we always come down in three candles. We are now three candles past and we're above it. So now it looks like this channel's not going to hold. Oh, look at the RSI up there again. Oh, goodness gracious. This could be a ma massive loss. Look, the five broke it. Everything's just, oof. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to add on. Do not, do not follow this one. Wow. Uh, you can see the RSI broke my 75, which is unbelievable. When's the last time we broke 75? Right here. And the last time we broke it, it did crash down. So we'll see if it does it. If it does not, this is going to be a massive loss, family. I'm warning you. And I would get out of 40 if we get the luck. At this point, we're playing this RSI to dip back into the channel. And if I don't get it, this is going to be a 20 percenter. Okay. Yeah, this is tough. We have the run up. And I need this to turn red. Come back into the channel, sell off the, the bottom, and we'll be all right. You can see these dips anytime we got above it. This one, this is a one, two, three, four, five candles above there. You can see we haven't, that is a crazy, there we go. Come back into the channel. Need you to come all the way down now. 
now it's dipping the relief the release of pressure off that rsi but it has to be a big release if we don't get that big release of pressure i'm in deep deep doo-doo let's see yeah this is i don't like this trade already because we wanted to be down once we broke this we wanted to be back into this channel within one to two candles and now we're getting new higher highs here uh and the rsi is still way up there too come on like this needs to release that pressure come on down i feel like bob barker here come on down let's go wow Wow, wow, wow. Talk about swimming against the, the current. Yep. Well, family, this is going to bite me. We're going to take a loss on this. Look at this RSI. We are up at 77.1. Absolutely unbelievable RSI. Absolutely crazy how high it is. Uh, it, it crushed me. This is, this is one that's going to be a major loss. Now, I'm not out yet because this RSI is so high. Uh, I'm waiting for the obvious pullback. It's going to come whenever it does. Uh, and we're going to play that. Wow, look at this. The stock gods have called and they came a swinging. Wowzers. Well, it goes to show you, even the best intentions don't always work. Uh, man, oh man, oh man. So I play, I'm playing this right here. We're in the way overbought zone. But the market's like, we don't care. We're going to continue to buy. Wow. Oh, this one's going to be, this is going to be a painful one. Wow. I keep saying wow because I don't have any other words for this. This is unbelievable. Look how high we are. We're at 80 on the RSI. 80 on the rsi are you kidding me i if i was in here right now watching this i would be all over this buying put options there's thor's hammer uh we'll see how this plays out here i would expect this to come rushing back down you're at 80 78 on the rsi 80 on the rsi come on are you serious wow good for my good for my long stocks but terrible for this trade Hell, even TMF's up. Good for them. Okay. Okay, let's see what happens here, family. Now, at this point, this is absolutely a losing trade. This is going to crush me. Oh, that sucked. Look at it. Oh, and there's no way I'm going long. Somebody said, why don't you just go long? There's no way. RSI up at 70, 78.77. No way. I wouldn't touch a long position right now. No, no, no. Um, no. We broke out of that. This is a failure. Wow. This is just painful. Channel didn't hold. Confirmed above the channel, and it's off and running. Well, well, we were bound to have a loser. Wow, that's just unbelievable. Look at this. It's straight up. I don't quite... Whoa, 1.51. Unbelievable. Okay, well, I guess it's time to lick the wounds and get out of this position, because this is toast. Oh, yeah, look at that. 600 bucks gone. Oh! That hurts. Okay, get it up there. Wow. Actually, on that, oh, I can't do that. That's too, that's way too high. All right, so now do not try this at home, kiddos. Look at this. We're up at 85 on the RSI. I don't know what's going on. Are you kidding me? This is at 84 now on the RSI. I don't know what news came out, but whatever news it was, uh, I gotta. <laughs> oh, I hate to do this, but family, this is so. Oh, fight! I'm fighting it. 
this is a do not do this why because that run right there this massive green candle 84 on the rsi i would be buying this all day every day and i'm gonna try it again look at this are you kidding me if i lose this one that's fine wow that is unbelievable Look at it. Look at it. We're just, oh my God. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this is going to be a losing trade, family. That RSI has to come back down. There it is. Go on back down. All right. So, let's see what we can get back. Let's see what we can get out of this. We're going to be down a substantial amount. Well, I'm going to be down a substantial amount, but that did exactly what we were waiting for. Now we just need one. Well, go figure. It dipped down. Oh, man. It did dip. Maybe it's not going to dip. Wow. That's insane. You get all the way up there on the 85 on the RSI. There it is. That's what you expect. Yep. Do I want to sell the half? Yeah. Hmm. So we did the right move on the second one to save a little of this. 26. The only way to break even is to get this to 30. I don't remember what we got in. The original, I think, 30. We 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 cost down because that was so high here that you expect a pullback, which we're getting that right now. Wow. Mm, yeah. Pulling it back. 27. We hit 30. We're even. I don't know if we're going to. This is so bullish right now. That's coming down. It'll probably come down and hit the 13 is where we should sell half. And try to limit the loss on this. It might not even. So, like I said, this is a losing play. Now, the second part of the play isn't, but I would need to see a massive red candle to be able to save this. And I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so now we have a little sell-off here. I want to see this dip below here, and I think I'll I'll sell half of it. And if we get back up to this, I'll sell half. So it's just a question of... Which half are we going to get? Are we going to get the red candle or not? Yeah. And so I'll sell half at this point just to take a little pressure off. And the other half, we will see. And if it comes back down, uh, we can try to save it. If it goes back up, we won't be able to save this one. I have these trades. You guys see it every day. We have wins. We have losses. Wow. That was crazy. I would I'm gonna argue that's not too bad for for what it could have been. I think yesterday we were up almost three thousand. so given five hundred back on a crazy run, I'm okay with. Let's see how this goes though. There's still a chance if this dips down and comes back into this channel that we can get a lot of that back and theoretically, theoretically be up there we go that's what we needed okay 29 yeah if i would have waited we'd have been up money right there 30.5 i would have been up money if i would have just waited a little bit longer ah boo yeah, sell 25 
112. We're almost up. Are you kidding me? Must have been a huge red candle. There it is. All right. So at this point, at this point, we're down 100 bucks. I'm one trade, always one trade away from um, now 200. So it came back a little bit. So we're going to sell 25 down there. 200 bucks down on this so far. We still have a chance. And if I would have kept the 150, which I should have, we'd actually be up right now. Um, so I did sell half because we dipped below the or 25 of them. So I got 50 contracts left. Now for these ones, I'm going to let it let it go. We'll see if we can get out of this trade and survive. There is a chance we could actually still be up money for the day and keep the undefeated streak alive. Um, we're down 150. So what we need this to change, we need just to go up three cents. 36 on this would get us up money for the day. So we're 34.5, 35.5 would make us even. 36 on the dot for this gets us up. That would get us up. Yeah, and we're there. We're there, 34 and a half. Let's go. I'll tell you what, if we get up money, I'll sell 10 contracts just so at least we made some money. Um, if we don't, no. Nope. Wow. Okay, so the put options were the right play. It just took longer than we wanted, um, unfortunately. Five just crossed, confirming here. RSI is on the 50. If this holds again, we're going to bounce all the way back up. And that's what I'm afraid of. So let's, re oh, yeah, see. So I'm going to reduce 10 contracts just in case. And we're going to go to market. We can get ready to get out of this whole thing if we need to. We got 40 contracts, $200 down. $200 down. Oh, family. Oh, that was a crappy trade. Not as bad as it could have been. All right. All right, we're on to 50. Let's play this. I'm not, you know, like I said, you guys know how I trade. So I'm going to watch this. If we confirm below here, I might even buy puts. Right now, I'm reducing the risk of a bounce up, which we're seeing right here. And if that's the case, I might even, depending on what happens here, uh, buy call options or puts. We're going to find out. Right now, you have this huge mountain. We're down here consolidating sideways. Uh, the confirmation of the bread recipe with the five under the 13 happened, but the RSI is holding as support. And at this point is where you would consider buying the calls because we have the, and there you go. Ugh. So let's go ahead and do you want to play the bull run on this? Yeah, maybe, maybe. No, oh, we're back down again. Woo this is ugly. Yeah, there you go. So we did the right move last time, but now we're back out of that channel. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. Yep, 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 yep. Now couple things we're watching for on this. And we're going to see if this can make a new high here or if this is a new lower high. So I'm watching this because I'm going to get out of the loss. This is a loss, of course. Um, I'm watching to see how this goes for my next move. If this, if this comes down, and this is what I'm waiting for, if all of a sudden this becomes this, where we have these new... This now has switched its personality and we just don't know it yet. And this becomes where it starts to come down and testing. Um, then we're going to be in a major bear move, uh, which I think is way overdue. Like we're up here, like we're way overdue to come down a little bit. We have not. And so I'm watching for that. And I would actually pick up some put options to try to make some money today. Uh, if that is the case, if we break above here, which we could, uh, and we're going back up to new highs. I'm going to take a massive loss. If this is what I think it could be, and we're changing direction now, and we're going down, well, then we have an opportunity to make some money. The RSI is going to be your key sign. If we get that RSI to dip, look at this. It hasn't been below 50. It hasn't confirmed below 50 since 12 o'clock. Wow. 
So it's overdue for it to get down to that 50 level. And confirm below it would be, this would be it. I think you have a lot of people piled into, into call options and they're gonna have to cover if this gets down. Do we wanna take that chance? Mm, what do you think family? Get greedy, not get greedy. Uh, what do we got going on here? Sideways. So this still could run up and be a the bull move right here. This bull move off of this, and it's running. So it did not do what we thought there, unless it came down here. Uh, yeah. A little bit of consolidation. Yeah, so that's not happening. Here's the zone. I'm going to keep this, though. Yeah, the dip under the 13 still holding all day. Ugly day. Selmo, I sold a lot of them. All right, I had a ton of these. They're only like 20, 30 cent contracts. So it's not like I have a ton of them, 40. It's like uh, 40 at 25. So it's it's a normal position. And right now, I still, when you have this run, I still want to see how this plays out. Because uh, I still think we're going to dip back into this channel. And even though it looks like it's going higher, we're just sideways right here. We're sideways. Now, if it runs, I'll take more of a loss. It is what it is. If we come down, I told you I didn't like this today. It, it, it was ugly. And if I actually would have kept 150, sold at 31 cents, we actually would have been up money. All right, here we go. That's it. So we see the breakout there. That's what I was waiting to see. Um, if that means we could be off and running, which I think it's going to. So the call options may be the play here. We'll see. Now, the last few times the it got to this point. It's been pushed back under. We'll see if it gets pushed back under. Not, it confirms there. I told you we should get the highs again. Oh, there it is. Yep. Okay. That's the confirmation. So I get out of these things. I'm going to take the loss, family. Oh, that's no fun. Yeah. Ah, boo. All right. So we take the loss on that. Ah, oh, I hate doing that. Now we're back up to the last time right here. No sense of fighting it. Okay. I think you had a little bit of a. Oh, wow. Broke it. Now, last time it got up to this point, the bears pushed it all the way back down. You have this retracement, and now it's off and running. So. Here we go, family. Let's buy the calls. Ay, 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 ay. Look at the spread on these things. Bit ass. Oh, 38, 39. I got gotcha. you. Oh, now it's it's up to the RSI again. We didn't get a chance. I was gonna get into it. Let's go. Oh boy. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> RSI is too high for me. Anybody that knows me, you guys know the deal. I'm not buying. I'm not buying on that. I set up for another put. We'll see if we can save this day. What are we down? Five bones. All right. So I need a massive run up again into the Bollinger Band. RSI way overbought, and I'll try it again. <laughs> we'll try it again. Ah. Uh, so I'm going to wait for the perfect setup again. Complacency. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's brutal. All right. That was brutal. Yeah, can't win everyone. We still have a chance to pull this out, family. We still have a chance. I'm waiting. There it is. Oh, oh, did you see it? Did you guys see that? It went <laughs> up to the Bollinger and down it went. That's what I was waiting for. Do you see how quick that was? The Pro the algorithms took care of it. It broke the Bollinger band. You can see it. And the algorithm said as soon as it broke it, they they pushed it all the way down. Oh, you know good punks. 
oh, that's a punky thing to do. I can't go faster than the algorithms. That's the problem, family. That's what I told you earlier in this video. Look, and now we're back into it. Oh, you no good punks. Oh, and I had that set up right here to do it. Oh, that would have put us up a ton. Yep, there it is. That's your red pepper I've been waiting for. Remember I told you it needed to release that pressure. The pressure has been released. Now, wow, everybody got stopped out on that one, didn't they? What are we looking at? Calls? Wow. Oh, family. That's crazy. Now I'm going to buy off of that. We're going to go long. I'm buying off of this. If it confirms down, I'll buy the puts and we're going to ride this thing all the way down. But right now I'm going to buy uh, calls off of this big red candle. I uh, call it a two to three minute trade. You know, and I. And if it keeps going down, obviously we can get into the um, put options. I'm not even going to lose sleep over it. Wow, that's crazy. Because usually if we're playing this, and oh, don't confirm on me. Um, oh, come, good grief. So if this confirms down, this is a reversal, and I'm buying puts, and I'm riding this thing all the way down. Because I do think you'd have a sell-off then. And right now we are seeing it. Oh, good good God. Are you telling me already? This is This is something. Wow, this is a bad day, family. We do not want that. Okay. So we hit down on the 50. Now we're going to see if it plays up. We got underneath here. This is the confirmation. It confirmed on that candle. I would not have thought that would have confirmed. Uh, and there it is. Oh, good. I'm out. <laughs> uh, this is ugly. So I'm going to try the puts, family. Like I said. If it's gonna if it's gonna do what it's gonna do, this is a rough rough day. It is all over the place. At this point, we're down sixteen bones. That's not good. That is not good. There it is. We're on the fifty. I'm gonna watch this. Yeah, it's confirmed down. Okay. So okay. All right. We're gonna go big boys. 150. We got that. If it bounces back up, we know it's a reversal and it's going to go back up. So I'm getting set up off this 50. I love playing the 50. This is, it is what it is. But man, this is, we had one other day like this before where we lost the grand. This is a grand. Okay. The call option. I should have stayed in, should have played off the 50. Wait and see. Down it went. Keep an eye on it. If this confirms here and gets below the 50, we're going to be dropping like a rock. So I'm waiting to see what we do at this point to try to save this day. Uh. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so now we hit this, and it's not. What are we buying? Spy puts. Yeah, I'm going to play that. We'll see. High risk. Now, what I'm playing here is that it tried to push back up to 13, failed, coming down, and you have the consolidation off this big candle. The 50s here. It pushed on the RSI here, and it tried. It tried to get back above. If it does, it's going to be another loser. If it doesn't, and I get the wash, and we get below the 50, that would save the day. And so this, this is what I'm playing. We're going to see if this works. This one, I'm going to hold for a little bit and see if we can get that five beneath the, the 50. If the five dips below the 50, this is going to be a successful trade. <sighs> You know, we're it, rough. What a rough day. Now it's doing what we want. And for this one, up 375 on this one, 800. There it is. Let's get some of this money back. So we're almost up for the day. Let's go. Mm. 
Yeah, we got a thousand back. That's it. Push it down. Should take half. Here's the problem. Let's see. Okay. So this is interesting. Uh, that that 50 is going to be the line in the sand. Depending what happens here, this is going to make or break the day, family. There it is. That's what I needed. Okay. There it is. There it is. So I had to sell half. We're up money now for the day. Woo. Not a lot, but 37. Up 100. Keep it going. Let's go. Remember, the goal is $200 a day. There it is. And this should go up to 117. It did. Keep an eye on that number. Can we get it to 200? Nope. Okay, so I'm going to watch this now for now. The flush is coming. If the 13 crosses, I should be up a, a, a substantial amount for the day. This is day trading, family. Welcome to one of my craziest days online here. Um, but here we go. The 13 crossing is the ultimate setup. Uh, this is looking good. We should be up 200. Close? No? 117. 267. There it is. Okay, so I'm playing this. I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy on this just to tell you. So I, I usually would sell some right here, but I'm I'm playing this right here that a big flush will come. Um, and that's what we're gonna play. I could take my 200 and be done for the day, but I don't want to. And this could be, I gotta wait. Uh, you no good snot. Okay. So a little consolidation. That could be the bottom. I swear, though, if that 13 crosses the 50, we are going to get a massive push down. If it doesn't, and this holds, I'm still down money for the day, but, oh, a bunch of money for the day now. Come on, I sold most of them. How big of a rocket was that? It was big. Well, that's not good. Uh, well, we had it all back. Yeah, we're getting, like I said, we're taking some chances on this. And it did not work. Oh, you punk. We'll see what happens here. If the 50 holds here and it pushes back down, we're all right. If the 50 does not hold and it goes above, I'm in a world of pain. Nah. Now we wait. We 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 play the waiting game on this, which I hate doing. Yeah, looks like the green is back in. The green has steam, as I say. The 50 is what I'm playing right here. We're going to see if that 50 now holds as resistance. And we push back down, or if it gets above it, gets support, and we're off and running. And then the the, the play is the call at the call options here. Uh. So far, yep. There's the gap up. A little gap up. It's running. Crap. Ah, we had a good run there, too. What do we got? 75 contracts? Oof. Yep. Now it's fives crossing back to 50. That was just a temporary blip, I think. So I might need to try the call options. Oh, oh what an ugly day. So what we have here is a temporary... 
reprieve from this up here, pushed it down. Now it's back off and running. That green candle killed me. Mm. Yeah, well, we had a losing day on the, the day trading. It's okay. Not what we want to see, but um, it does happen. Rarely. This is the first time in, I think, three weeks we had a losing day. Now, the good news is the money from yesterday and today, we're still up well over a thousand. Oh, watching this, I'm watching this line in the sand here. I wanted to see if that would hold as resistance. It's not. So it's, um, if that doesn't hold and, it, and we get break above it and it's off and running, we should get back up to that level. But I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to lick my wounds, go into the weekend, and we'll see uh, how this plays out. Actually, I'm going to go trade my weekly options, get us set up for next week. So if you guys haven't done it, come over and see some of the plays. They are absolutely rolling uh, nicely. And I've been locking up a lot of gains on those today, which is good. And we're going to see. So we'll be back Monday for this, though. Wow, that was crazy. Yeah, the green's running. Five crossed. There we go. We got confirmation right here confirmation on the bread recipe you know what that means it's time to get out of this play and run for the sidelines so that's exactly what i'm gonna do all right family uh on that note uh you can play this any way you want but i'm gonna tell you something right now this is bullish but i ain't touching it we're gonna call it a day Gonna call it a day, and of course it. Of course you do. You you come on down. Let me see some. Watch this. If you go boom down to where we were here, and what's the retracement from that high? Right there. So the retracement would be into this zone right here. There it is. That's the zone. So you had this massive push down. Up you go, and then that. If it breaks, let's do the candles instead. Well, you do the high here, all the way down to low. We're in the Goldilocks zone right now for a retracement off of that. Down and then up, it would come down. So I might play that. I don't know. All right, family, I'm going to call it a day. I might make one or two more trades outside of the live stream. So uh, I will be back. Uh, uh, like I always say, I appreciate everyone stopping by. Get over there. Join the Stockmo Patreon, the Stock Squad Patreons. Get the course today. Code cash. Come on over. There it is. Coming back down like I thought. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go have some fun. All right, family. It's been great here. We'll see you.